What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys another quick and easy modification that you can buy for your Mercedes-Benz in order to give it a much sportier look. All that coming right up. So, for this video, we're going to be installing paddle shifter extensions for the Mercedes-Benz. Now, these paddle shifters are very sturdy built, okay? They are made of aluminium and the way you install them is by simply peeling off the adhesive strips that comes with the paddle, shif paddle shifter extensions and then simply clean the surface, the, the back surface of your paddle shifters on your steering wheel with some iso alcohol which is this right here isopropyl alcohol that's what this is right here as you can see right there isopropyl alcohol and once you do that you can then peel off the adhesive strip stick it on hold it there for like say a minute or two and you will be good to go that's how simple this install is so if you're interested in something like this i'll leave a link in the description below and if you want to do something like this then by all means click on the link below and get yourself a set and do exactly what i'm going to do right now now before we get into it there is something that i wanted to point out that is very important off the top of my head i know that mercedes-benz has about six different types of paddle shifters that they install on their steering wheels now the rule of thumb here in order to get the correct paddle shifter extensions for your car you need to make sure that you are 100 percent sure that the extensions are the correct ones for your paddle shifters the last thing you want to do is buy the incorrect extensions for your paddle shifters and have to return them and go through the hassle of having to pay shipping again just because you got them incorrect the first time. It's very important that you either confirm via uh, photos and messages or you have to be sure 100% they are going to be the correct extensions for your paddle shifters. Okay, I really wanted to stress this because I've seen it too many times where people have bought paddle shifters thinking that they are the correct ones for their car and when they go to install them it's just the incorrect ones and you know really it's just a pain in the ass having to return them and wait for the correct ones so just be sure first time round that they are the correct ones for your car and you won't have any trouble whatsoever now for the sake of this video I have gone with my old steering wheel and I'm going to install, for the sake of this video, I'm going to install paddle shifter extensions on this steering wheel. However, I've also installed uh, carbon fiber ones on my facelifted steering wheel. Even though I drive a pre-facelifted car, I'm sh if you've seen my other videos, I have already upgraded the steering wheel to a facelift steering wheel, to a fully customized carbon fiber steering wheel and it is just the bomb. I mean, I totally love it. and you know, honestly, in my honest opinion, I believe it is a must-have compared to this steering wheel right here, which is not that bad, honestly. It is a nice steering wheel. However, I wanted the ones with the flat bottom, and I love the way the facelift steering wheel look compared to this old steering wheel. So, I'll give you a look at that in just a second. I just wanted to show you right now how easy it is to install these paddle shifters. It is so easy that anybody can do this. So I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how easy it is to do an installation like this and it takes no time at all. Before we get into it, I just wanted to point out quickly the different types of paddle shifters that you can find on different Mercedes-Benz models. So as you can see here from the two picks here, there are five different types of paddle shifters that can be found on Mercedes-Benz models and these are the five most common paddle shifters that you can find. So as you can see type A are found on these type of uh, Mercedes-Benz models, type B are found on these types of Mercedes-Benz models and so forth. I 
I just wanted to also point out that no matter the type of car you drive or the type of steering wheel you have with paddle shifters, you are still able to find the correct extensions for your paddle shifters. In other words, rest assured that if you want this sporty look for your car whilst also keeping it somewhat luxurious, then by all means, go out, get yourself a set of these paddle shifters. And if you want the carbon fiber paddle shifters, I will be sure to leave a link in the description below and you will be able to get a set for yourself. Now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install these, so let's do it. Now, just to show you guys how it looks with the paddle shifters on. Okay, here we go. That's what it looks like now without paddle shifter extensions, okay? And then once you install these, just look at how much nicer that looks. I mean, tell me that isn't something that you want on your car if you're looking for that sporty look. I mean, if you're not and you just want, you know, simple paddle shifters, then by all means, if this isn't your cup of tea, then, you know, move on to another table where they're serving your cup of tea. Okay, so this is exactly what it's going to look like, guys. Okay, look at that. Look at how nice that looks, guys. I mean, come on. I love it. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that just look awesome? Now, another thing you also need to be aware of is... When you, when you go to test out your paddle shifters, make sure you put them on like this and give it a test run, okay? Be sure that they are not hitting any other indicators or I know that with, other, with the newer model Mercedes-Benz, they have the, um, the stick with the park, drive and, you know, the, the automatic gear shift up here like an indicator. So be sure that you do test, you test fit, you trial fit these... Um, extensions on and be sure that when you turn the wheel full ways both ways all the way to the left and all the way to the right that they are not touching anything and if it doesn't touch anything then you are okay to go ahead with the install now i'm going to flip this steering wheel around now just to show you how easy it is to install these paddle shifter extensions as i mentioned before all you have to do now is peel off these adhesive strips and then line them up with your paddle shifters and then simply stick them on. Now, for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you how it's done. I'm not actually going to stick them on right now. But remember, like I always say, when it comes to anything with adhesive strips, always use iso alcohol first with a microfiber cloth and then clean the surface very well with iso alcohol and um, a microfiber cloth. And once you do that, give it a couple of seconds to dry. And because it is iso alcohol, I, I just call it iso alcohol for short, but it is isopropyl alcohol. And once you've seen it, once you've let the alcohol dry, simply peel off the adhesive strip, line it up exactly where you want it. Be sure that it is direct. It is perfectly centered top and bottom. And then hold it there for about a minute or two just to be 100% sure that they are going to have a very strong bond and you are pretty much good to go. Do the same thing with the other side and basically that is what your steering wheel can look like after you buy paddle shifter extensions. I mean, just look at that guys. Is that not just a much nicer look? In my, my honest opinion, if you are into that sporty look and if you want paddle shifters that are going to be easy to reach when you start turning the steering wheel, you definitely need to go for something like this. Now, I'm also going to show you the other type of paddle shifters that I bought for my facelift steering wheel. Let's jump into my car and let me show you what the carbon fiber steering wheel looks like and another type of paddle shifters on the Mercedes Benz. This is the facelift steering wheel that I have now got on my pre-facelift W204 C300. As you can see here, the paddle shifters on this steering wheel have been upgraded to the other style. They are matte silver. Okay, the ones you saw on the pre-facelift steering wheel before were black and they weren't exactly like this with the groove you can see here see that groove you can see right there so these are a much more updated uh, pair of paddle shifters and i must say they really are very nice these can also be found on other models 
such as A45s and so forth. But like I said, it all just depends on the type of steering wheel you have and the type of paddle shifter you have also. Just to give you guys a look of what it looks like from behind. These are the full carbon fiber paddle shifters. Okay. And they simply install with double-sided adhesive as well. And I have to say that I've had this steering wheel now for about a year now and I haven't had any problems at all with the paddle shifter extensions falling off or anything like that. They are absolutely gorgeous and I really do like them. There you go guys. Paddle shifter extensions for your Mercedes Benz. No matter the model you drive, you can get paddle shifter extensions for your car. Doesn't that just look brilliant guys? I love this steering wheel. And there you have it. Okay, and well, there you have it guys. Another quick and easy video on how to install paddle shifter extensions on your Mercedes-Benz. Not just the W204, but for any Mercedes-Benz with paddle shifters. And if you don't have paddle shifters for your car, then I'm also told that it is possible to install paddle shifters, only you may have to activate the paddle shifter option via an SDA star diagnostic um, scanner. You'd have to obviously go to a, a mechanic or a place that has a star uh, diagnostic uh, tool and they can activate the paddle shifters in order to allow you to use paddle shifters if you don't currently have paddle shifters in your car. And that brings us to the end of the video guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video this is Mike with Mikey's vlogs signing off